We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Cam Smith, Miami Dolphins corner. And I thought, you know, in this preseason game, we got to see his first action in a while. I thought he started a bit slow, definitely uh, made this missed tackle, especially on this play versus Terry. This was like, I would say, his biggest negative of the day. But after that, he bounced back, had only positive plays, definitely went out there. This was, you know, his PBU down the field. He looked comfortable. I'm still a believer in Cam Smith. Now, unfortunately, he did get another injury in this game, which sucked. It happened after he came out of the game defensively. Like happened late in the game, he was still playing special teams, and uh, he got a, it looked like a hamstring. So hopefully it's not too long term. But as a player, I thought you know he still showed that athleticism, like the stuff you saw out of him in college. Like I still have that belief in him because uh, I was a fan of him coming out of uh, South Carolina more so than like you know he's not like a Liam Eikenberg second round pick in my opinion. Like Eikenberg was never gonna work out. He never had like those those tools. But to me, I you can see the instincts. He can play with instincts. He can anticipate route breaks. Like, there's some technical issues he can have from time to time, but I think he transitions well. I think he's willing to get physical. I think he has some really good, like, change of direction and plays with great fluidity. And he has those ball skills to finish, so uh, I think it's just a consistency thing, and we just need more reps out of him. He needs to stay healthy. That's probably one of his biggest issues right now is he hasn't had... Uh, he just hasn't had a lot of reps, and last year was mainly because Fangio did not like him, and then this year... He's kind of just been struggling with injuries, nothing super major. So hopefully um, he could, I could see the world where he maybe misses and starts the year in PUP, which wouldn't be the worst thing because the Dolphins have so many DBs on their roster right now that they need to keep. Uh, and Cam Smith is in that area where he's fighting for a rush spot here. First rep, I do like his negatives did come against McLaurin. Like the catches he gave up came against Terry McLaurin. Uh, and this one's actually not that bad of a rep. Like I actually think he plays this pretty well. Doesn't give him a ton of separation. He does take a little bit of a false step here. He needs to fix this. Sometimes he does this in his reps. Where he takes a little bit of a false step. If you're going to step forward like this, that means you have to like at least press and get your hands on, or you're like at least trying to like fake jam them to slow them down. You know, get mix things up. So like if you're going to do this, it just needs to be like actually a part of the plan. I think he's not doing it like that. But then he does a better job. He's staying square. He's staying patient after the false step. He's in a good spot. He opens up his hips at a good timing. This the, the second play he doesn't. Uh, he's in a decent spot, and then he's. Kind of step for step with him mirroring and matching. Daniels just does a pretty good job throwing with anticipation. And it's just perfect ball placement. Like Smith is in a good spot. That's not really like you give up eight yards versus the team's number one receiver. McLaurin's a top 15, 20 receiver in the league. Uh, overall, that's not a bad rep, especially when you don't really have help over the top. Like you're on an island playing press man to man. Uh, the reps could definitely get worse. Like this one is much worse. Uh, just he does the little bit of a false step again forward. This time he opens up his hips early. McLaurin does a better job selling vertical, so he opens up his hips. He isn't able to match it this time and, uh, you know, anticipate the route break to stay in the hip pocket, so he gets over the top. Change of direction isn't that bad. He's, like, kind of out of control, but he doesn't change direction that bad. He just takes a poor angle, and it's good ball placement that the ball carries him to the outside, uh, and Smith was kind of losing his balance and then just doesn't finish. You know, it was a third and short situation. That was, like, his biggest negative play of the game, and I just thought he responded well after that. Dolphins on a third down situation bring pressure. He's basically in cover zero, just man to man on his guy on the outside. Uh, and I love the the comfortability. He's like opening up his hips because he's reading the QB's eyes. They're playing in like that version of zero where you're trying to like read, you know, the QB see when he's going to throw it. Uh, probably short, like you think he's going to throw it at the sticks. He's able to open up. And I love that he's zone turns. He sees that the QB is going to throw it and he's able to just basically turn back into the receiver like he doesn't show panic here like i love how comfortable he looks on this play because sometimes when you have to open up like this away from the receiver turn back into him and then still locate the ball some guys feel uncomfortable and since he was like in this spot right here he turned back in into him but he was still high upfield shoulder he wasn't on the low field shoulder he still turns to locate away from the receiver finds it and then uh, knocks the ball down now if you see the broadcast he does hold this guy a little bit i do think he needs to work on being a little less grabby but there is such a thing as like veteran holds, you know, being a guy, like a lot of DBs hold and get away with it. And I do think he did a good job of hiding this hold because he was like very close into the chest. Like he was uh, protecting himself, not giving the ref's vision to see the hold. But it is something he should work on. But he really played this uh, rep very, very well, very comfortable. You can just see the fluidity, the athleticism, the ball skills, uh, and just finish. And that's when like he, he started going against like, like, he was going against uh, Al Almeida Zacchaeus, who's, like, probably going to be Washington's, like, fourth, fifth receiver. And he definitely, like, wasn't getting beat by him really at all. Uh, here, Dolphins come out, and Dolphins did really, like, they're showing, like, they're going to be in, like, a cover three look pre-snap. They go out of it. They go into a Tampa two. 
So Cam Smith is the flat defender playing in zone. They try to throw it underneath. Zacchaeus, he closes this time, only allows a, a catch for a few yards and actually finishes the tackle. Um, and this was a similar situation where, like, he thinks he's floating the inside, so he's taking an inside angle, but the receiver gets the ball thrown to his outside shoulder to change direction. He does a much better job, like, adjusting, even though being slightly out of position, finishing that tackle, not allowing him to gain much. I think that was a big part of this, that uh, he definitely showed more as a tackler as the game went on. Here's another example of him playing as, as a flat defender. He's their cover two to his side of the field. Uh, he's he's getting depth because it is a third and long situation. So he's trying to, you know, it's third and 12. So he's trying to gain depth, sit at the sticks, just in case uh, 14 breaks to the outside, that he can take away that throwing lane. But he knows he has this guy underneath. And once he sees the dump of half in, he gets down there, squares him up, and able to get a nice physical hit on a pretty big tight end. Doesn't allow him to bully him at all. Like Smith squares him up, drives his feet. He gets a little help, but he they push him backwards. I mean, that's impressive. I love the physicality. Like Smith isn't the biggest guy. He's kind of long, but he's a little more on like the lanky side for, you know, the, the player he is. So it's nice to see him coming up, making tackles. Like here's another example of him versus the screen. Slip underneath the blocker, uh, maintain your outside half. Like, because he slips underneath like this and now he's in a decent spot. Uh, doesn't want to get too far downhill because then he could cut this back up. Depends on what your teammates are doing. So he slow plays it, gets a little bit back to the inside, engages with the receiver. Now as he sees him cut to the outside. He's in the right spot to to be involved in the play. That's what you want to do when you are the corner in these situations on screens or it's versus the run and it, it gets out to your side of the field. You're that force defender. You're that last line of defense. You want to force everything back to the outside. So you don't want to, you know, overshoot things unless, uh, you know, the situation requires you flying downhill to be aggressive. But yeah, he plays this correctly and is just in a decent spot. Um, would have loved to see like some more true one-on-one -on -one reps where he played man, but he really only got that early uh the pretty much all the first three reps that I showed two versus McLaurin, the other one where uh, he made the pass breakup. But it was nice to see him like in transition. Dolphins rotate into cover three. I love all the pre snap disguises. Like this guy looks like he's going to be the single high. He rotates down. Needham rotates the middle of the field. Then we got Smith who's opening up his hips, and you can just see the transitions. I feel like he just he's very quick twitch. Like they're you know he's opening up his hips and still has to break with him and. He, his feet are in sync. Like, look at his feet in sync with the receiver, which is really impressive when you're just, like, not moving as fast as he is. The guy has a lot more momentum. And then if that ball was thrown on the break, like, he's in a spot to potentially make a play at the catch point. I think he has a lot of the traits you look for in a corner with quick twitch, mirror, and match ability. you got to be able to play press man. I also think he has enough instincts to play zone. He's willing to get physical. He has the ball skills. It's just a more consistency things, more reps, better overall technique. And then I think uh, like angles, leverage, positioning could all be a little more consistent. And those things I think come with playing time. So I still have pretty good faith that he can be a quality level player. I have, I believe he can still live up to being like a second round pick, in my opinion. Like while some other people on the roster, I don't see that happening. I could see them maybe being, you know, NFL level players. But there's other people on the roster. I'm like, like, I don't think Channing Tindall is ever going to live up to being a third round pick. Like I could see him like developing, become better, but never being like what they expected. Like that ship has kind of sailed in my opinion uh but cam smith i do think can still get there i think there's a lot of things to work with so uh if you guys know the video it's probably the last video of the day tomorrow we'll probably have muhammad kamara and erica zukanma probably do two videos a day don't want to overdo it because there's but there's so many film breakdowns to make on this game so that i i do need to get two out before the next game happens so if you guys know the video make sure that comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace